All right. We are the world's leading wearable game studio. And we founded the company in 2014 based on the premise that smartwatches are going to change everything in games, that they are the next big disruption we've been waiting for, and that the Apple Watch in particular is one of the most exciting games devices ever created. You see, it is without a doubt the most accessible games device we've ever had. It's always right there. It's never at the bottom of your bag, in the pocket of your jacket, or forgotten in the other room. And because of that, it has a frequency of use we've never seen before in games. Now, in the context of other gaming devices, Apple Watch actually sits on top of the food chain. It is the device we use most during our days, because that's the way we receive all inbound communication from our digital lives. Whether you're talking about Facebook messages, Twitter, email, even phone calls, Apple Watch is your primary line of defense, if you will. But as game developers, there's of course another reason why we're so very excited about all this. And that's the fact that we know that it is content that really defines the consumer experience. In 2009, Angry Birds was the reason that made consumers around the world clued to their mobile phones. It was the game or the brand that showed the true potential that mobile gaming had, that iPhone had for mobile gaming. And a few years later, games such as Clash of Clans and Heyday really showed what iPads were capable of as gaming devices. Those were the first memorable experiences for consumers. And now we are doing exactly that for smartwatches and really showing what the potential is with these devices. And it's an exciting market to be in. Right now, even this Monday, we've seen Daggett Hoyer unveil their titanium luxury model, a smartwatch with $1,500 price point. Just a couple of weeks ago, Fossil announced their device, which is shipping for this Christmas with 249 price point USDs. So there's a lot of things happening in this space. A few words about our company. There's a couple of things that, um, that are different about our founders. First of all, we've been doing this for 15, 20 years. We've built companies before. Mika Tammenkoski, our CTO, founded a company called Sumea back in the day with Ilkka Paananen and was Ilkka's CTO for 10 years. This company later became Digital Chocolate, and Mika shipped uh, games on more platforms than I can name. My first exit was from a company called Futuremark that we founded together with Remedy Entertainment in 1997. And most recently, I was EVP at Remedy, responsible for their digital operations. But out of our founders, really, Markus Tuppurainen has most downloads under his belt. He has been in pivotal roles in games such as Bad Biggies, Angry Birds Seasons, Angry Birds Friends, to name a few, and has seen more, more than 300 million downloads from his games alone. The other thing that combines us is the fact that we're highly ambitious. We absolutely want to create the fastest growing company in this space. And that would not be possible without an amazing set of investors. And we're backed by the best people, superstars of game investing, people like Petteri Koponen, our chairman of the board, who previously was the chairman of the board at Supercell. Or Nikolai Nyholm, one of the most active seed stage investors that we have in Europe, that's been an advisor to Mojang, the Minecraft team. Or Om Malik, who joined our board of directors uh, from True Ventures in Silicon Valley. And together we've raised about 2 million euros in seed round so far. But now let's change gears a little. Next I want to talk about our first game, which is called Rune Played.
With Room Plate, we set out to do something new, something different, something that had never been done before in the context of smartwatch games. We wanted to create something more than just a single game. We wanted to create a whole new world with all the classic elements of high fantasy, with cliffhangers and surprises for the players. And in order to do that, we started with a highly, highly ambitious premise. So in the world of Runeplay, we have a nation of war mages that are placed into an impossible situation. After eons of slumber, their old gods are returning back to their world. But this time they're corrupted and evil and destroying everything. So these war mages sent their champion up north to a place called Forgotten Horse, where this ancient evil lies. And it's up to the player to fight her way through the fantasy lands, wield magic, cast spells, and use magical artifacts. We've done a lot of industry firsts in the context of smartwatches this year, and one of those is our approach to content. Already this January, we scripted our whole year roadmap as one epic season one of Runeplayed, if you will, in a TV season fashion. Each month, we put out a major release, which adds more content, expands the mystery of the world of Runeplayed, and offers new things for the players, as well as uh, keeps the game fresh for the, uh, the players in the deep end. And this is one of the reasons why Apple has, during this year, featured us for more than 20 weeks on Apple Watch App Store. In fact, Apple selected Roomplayed as one of the key launch titles in April this year, and because of that, the game has received an incredible level of attention from all around the world. More than 1,000 publications have written about it. Publications such as Wired, Bloomberg, Reuters, TechCrunch, to name a few. But it's been a year full of surprises. One of the things we certainly weren't expecting is how engaged our audience is. You see, players of the game have created Reddit forums and wikias about Runeplay, where they've analyzed hundreds and hundreds of pages of information, each different magical artifact that we have, all their power tiers. In fact, at this stage, I think it's fair to say that the players know the game better than we do, which is always very unusual for a developer. And the re feedback from the players has been phenomenal. 85% of our players give the game full five stars. They send us emails saying that this is one of the best game experiences they've had, not just on smartwatches, but on any platform. And maybe one of the telling things is we often get asked, how is it different to create experiences for smartwatches? What are they like? And I think if you look at how people are playing these games, how they're using their devices, that's at least, that at least is a big part of the answer. You see, the top 2% of our players play the game, play Room played more than 100 times each day. And when we did the math, we realized that these players, on their every waking moment, Roughly every six minutes, they drop by to collect treasure, cast spells, or do something with their smartwatches. And we've never had a gaming device that could deliver this level of brand engagement before. So let's recap. Smartwatches are the next major disruption in games. We're the first studio to focus on this space and have the number one blockbuster on the platform. We have incredible PR momentum, amazing support by our players. And next year, we're going to release more titles for top 10 and looking to set the world on fire one wrist at a time. Thank you very much.